Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I do book things here. Today's video is actually an unboxing mystery box kind of thing. During this pandemic, all I've wanted to do, really spend my money on is um, small businesses and my local small businesses. One of my favorite places to go, um, bookstore slash cafe, was doing a thing where they have mystery boxes and it's literally just five books, a bag of coffee, and I think it was like 25 bucks or something like that. So I figured as a way to support local, I would do it. And I don't know what is in this box now. I did take the bag of coffee out. I did look kind of at what was in this, but um, also there's spilled coffee grounds, like a lot of spilled coffee grounds in the bottom of this box. So um, uh, the books are probably full of coffee, but you know, shit happens. I <laughs> I can forgive that. These are going to be five random ass books from their, you know, two stories of random used books. So I, I don't know what I'm getting myself into here, but I'm going to want to try to read them at the very least. I'm going to attempt to read them and see, <laughs> see what's up. First thing. First thing here, we have Scottish fish recipes. It says Scotland's rivers and lochs. Loch? Yes. Loch? are famous for their salmon, but its coastal and island, coastal and inland waters also provide a rich harvest of fish and shellfish of many kinds. So this is all Scottish fish recipes. Uh, Colin Skink, oh, what's a skink? What's skink? I don't know what that is. Prawns in whiskey cream, that sounds good. Smoked mackerel pate, baked herring and tomato sauce. Cheesy Angels, <laughs> Cheesy Angels, that was, that was my nickname in high school. All right, so we got Scottish fish <laughs> recipes. They gave me like a little, a little note. It says thanks from Black Squirrel, which is a beaver. And I'm not gonna ask questions. Okay, what do we have here? We have this naked book and it's called Arkansas by John Brandon. And it has a car sinking in water and absolutely no, <laughs> no synopsis. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go, <laughs> I gotta go to Goodreads and find out at the very least what this is about. Uh, what is it called? Arkansas? That's a joke. Okay, so it says, Arkansas is a biting first novel full of wet t-shirt contests, illicit drugs, and cross-country road trips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are days that uh, there are the days, the dappled grounds, the aimless yard work, the hours in the booth giving directions to families and SUVs, and then there are the nights, crisscrossing the south with illicit goods, shifty deals, and dingy trailers, and the vague orders from a boss they've never met. Before Kyle and Swim, Swin, can recognize how close to paradise they are in this neglected state park in southern Arkansas, the lazy piece is shattered with a shot. Night blends in today. Dead bodies. Dead bodies! This associates is on the job training. So is it like drug dealers in Arkansas? Road trips? SUVs? Wet t-shirt content? There's everything in this. That's better than I could have ever expected. <laughs> so that's exciting. Wow, thank you, Black Squirrel, for uh, giving me everything I didn't know I needed, so. All right, next book, covered in coffee grounds. Like, I everything is just covered in coffee grounds. Next, we have this. What is this? Okay, it is Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West. So it's all about the Wicked Witch. I'll be honest, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about... No, that's not a lie, I read... I read that book. So it says, when Dorothy triumphed over the Wicked Witch of the West in L. Frank Baum's classic tale, we only heard her side of the story. But what about her arch nemesis, the mysterious witch? Where did she come from? How did she become so wicked? And what is the true nature of evil? Fantasy world so rich and vivid that we will never look at odds the same way again. Wicked about a land where animals talk and strive to be treated like first-class citizens. Much land... Munchkin... Munchkinlanders, sorry, Munchkinlanders seek the comfort of middle class <laughs> stability and the Tin Man becomes a victim of domestic violence. Well, that's not good. <laughs> who will go up and become the infamous Wicked Witch of the West, a smart, prickly, and misunderstood creature who challenges 
all our preconceived notions about the nature of good and evil. Okay. This is something. Okay, so there's this. <laughs> this seems interesting. It's long. Okay. You know, this is, see, here's the thing about mystery stuff. It's like, you never know what you're going to get. You never know if it's going to be something that you would enjoy, which is sort of like the point of mystery. This is something I would have never picked up. I'm not some per like a person who's into Wicked. Um, really, I read, I read like The Wizard of Oz. Um, and, you know, I, I love everything about the video. Like, she came down in a bubble dug, you know, that one. But other than that, not really my, like, thing, but I'll give it a try. Why not? What the hell is this book? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see you, Black Squirrel. You're trolling me. I got coffee. There's coffee grounds all over everything. All right, so next up on my mystery book, we have <clears throat> Island of the Sequined Love Nun. By Christopher Moore, the author of The Lust Lizard of Melancholy Cove. And it says, so delightfully warped and funny that no sane person could have written it. Which is exactly my, my, uh, my niche, you know. It says, take a wonderfully crazed excursion into the demented heart of a tropical paradise. A world of cargo cults, cannibals, mad scientists, ninjas, and talking fruit bats. Our bumbling hero is Tucker Case, a hopeless geek trapped in a cool guy's body who makes a living as a pilot for the Mary Jean Cosmetics Corporation. When he demolishes his box pink plane during a drunken airborne liaison, Tuck must run for his life from Mary Jean's goons. Now there's only one employment opportunity left for him, piloting shady secret missions for a unscrupulous medical missionary and a sexy blonde high priestess on the remotest of Micronesian hells. I don't even know what I just read. Here is a brazen, ingenious, irreverent, irreverent, wicked funny novel from the master of the outrageous. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the best thing I've ever heard. This laugh a minute roller coaster of a book is almost impossible to describe. If it were a movie, it might be built something like this. Indiana Jones, played by Groucho Marx, screenplay by Edgar Allan Poe, based on a short story by Roger Ludlum and Stephen King. Fantastic. Well, the island of the sequined love nun. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> oh, I love it so much. All right, next up in the mystery box of books. <laughs> this is the Gateway to the Middle Ages, Monasteicism, Monas- Monast- Mon- Monasticism? <laughs> so this is now, this is all about, now what? So this is like a textbook like material. This is Roman Monasticism, I can't, what the hell is this? Oh, there's a tiny, there's a tiny flu, flu hold on, what is this about? Can I make it out? No, I don't know what that is. It's all about the Dark Ages. St. Bennet monks? Rome? I'm not gonna lie, probably not going to read this, but um, is it interesting? Maybe. Will I browse through it and give you guys a rundown of the gateway to the middle ages maybe don't sell me short because i might and then the last book the last book in the box covered in coffee grounds and you guys can see like there's so much coffee grounds in the bottom this one is actually a book that i currently have on my shelves so and i have two copies of this which is interesting because i i did show interest in this book at some point so that's cool that is women talking by miriam toes and this is this is a book it says okay so I don't know how to describe this. It says, in a quiet morning, I'm just gonna read the synopsis. It's in a, on a quiet morning in June, 2009, August Epps sits alone in the hayloft of a barn, anxiously bent over his notebook. Soon eight women, ordinary grandmothers, mothers, and teenagers will climb the ladder into the loft 
and the day's true toss will begin. This toss will be both simple and subversive. August, like the women, is a traditional Mennonite, and he's been asked to record a secret conversation. So begins this spellbinding novel from award-winning writer Miriam Toes. Gradually, we hear the women's vivid voices con um, console, tease, admonish, regal, and debate each other. We piece together the reason for the gathering. They have 48 hours to make a life-altering choice on behalf of all the women and children in the colony. So yeah, this would be interesting. So. It's funny, tender, sorrowful, and wise. Talk women talking is composed equal parts of humane love and deep anger. Expansive and engrossing, it contains a universe of thinking and feeling about women and men in our contemporary world. So this is interesting and fairly short. So like 200 pages seems really intense. But yeah, those are the five books plus a bonus of um, Scottish fish recipes that I got in a random mystery box from my used bookstore. There's the thing. None of these, except for the one that I owned, were anything that I would have ever picked up, but like, why not? Why not read them? <laughs> you know, and I think that's that's the fun part. And I say, if any of your local businesses are doing something similar, do it. Support local, you know, we, we need some mystery and like, some excitement in our lives, so like, why not do something like this? Give support to the businesses and you get to have a little bit of fun with it. And you never know, you might end up also with Island of the Sequin Love Nun. Um, you might end up with Drug Dealers in Arkansas, The Story of the Wicked Witch of the West, um, you might get to learn about the Gateway to the Middle Ages, and you might, um, you know, make a Scottish fish recipe and um, read a book about Mennonite women talking. So let me know if uh, <laughs> you get a mystery box and that's also what you get because I am curious. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully you guys like this. I'll update you when I've read a little bit of some stuff. I have a lot of books that I'm interested in and want to read recently, so, um, you know, getting back into things. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are doing good, and until my next one, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye.